What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Off The Leash. And today's video is gonna be kind of interesting. We're just gonna kind of shoot the breeze here. We're gonna hang out a little bit. So if you got the time, stick around. We're gonna be talking about this vehicle. Obviously, we took it in the mudding from the last Off The Leash you saw, the amount and hours of cleaning that we had to do to this thing. And as you could tell, um, we obviously didn't get to everything. But uh, we're gonna talk about warranty. We're gonna talk about upgrades and updates that we're gonna be uh, doing on this thing. So stick around, this is gonna be a fun video. It's the, it's the where do I begin question. And we'll kind of start with the thing that you guys have been asking a lot about. And that is uh, the axle problem that I had with the axle seal popped off my axle, allowing a bunch of crud to get in there and basically jack up the axle, not letting me turn driver, just really binding up. So uh, the big question was, was that warrantied by Ford? And I am happy to say that it in fact was, all the work that we had to do to get this thing back on the road um, was covered by Ford. So I totally appreciate them. Shout out to Big Valley Ford for helping me out with that and, and just the, the uh, corporate Ford for you know, doing a, a good solid job of helping their customers out. With that said, this thing is back on the road. Um, as you can see, I've been working on pulling the front bumper off. Uh, we were actually just filming a Tech Tuesday, but then I realized the amount of mud is still in here uh, and realized that I should probably spend a little bit more time just pulling it out while this thing is off. So I'm gonna be doing that today. Um, you know, if you guys wanna, Want to look at me do that? We're going to do it for about 10 seconds here. Okay, we're good. Next, uh, something else to talk about is uh, wheels and tires on this bad boy. So hold on, wait right there. Here comes the surprise. Boom, baby! These are Toyo MT 37s on a fuel covert beadlock wheel. Uh, super stoked about these. Uh, we're gonna be doing a whole video on its own. As you can see, we've got this, uh, this tire mounter uh, in the back that I had to learn how to use, which was a big headache, but uh, now we can, uh, we can mount our own tires, which is kind of fun. We're gonna be talking about uh, in the future if this 37 is actually gonna fit, which some people have uh, different videos on it. Uh, a lot of it has to do with your offset, with your backspacing. So we're gonna uh, talk about this one with the negative 15 offset, see if it works. Um, it's got 35s on it right now. So it's just, just kind of going into stuff like that. Stay tuned for that, because uh, that's gonna be a fun video. But uh, that is one of the upgrades that we will be doing to this thing. I almost gave away the name that I was thinking about, but uh, let me just ask you guys, because at this point, you know, why are we here? Why are we hanging out? We're friends. I need you guys' opinion. So after taking it in the mud, a lot of you guys were asking if, uh, you know, not even asking, you were demanding that it be called uh, the mud pig or pig something, pig. And I like the idea of the pig, uh, just because that is where this Bronco started its life, was getting drowned in the mud. So, to give an old throwback to a classic Disney movie, uh, I'm thinking about calling this thing Pumbaa, after my boy. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if that's a terrible, stupid name. Pumbaa and the Pitbull, man, I think it's, I think it works, but uh, if you guys shut me down, then I will respect you guys' opinion. So. Let's actually walk into the shop because I got a couple more surprises. Okay, so the old pit bull here, um, it hasn't, I got I gotta be honest, it hasn't seen a lot of street time, a lot of off-road time, um, mainly because we've been working on getting Pumbaa back on the road. I'm gonna make it stick. <laughs> I haven't been driving this a lot, but I do have a stack of parts sitting here, which uh, the first thing is I'm gonna be do, putting a cutout on this thing because at this point, this thing is just too loud. Uh, after the muffler fell off, which, yes, my muffler fell off on this thing. Uh, it's just been screaming loud, which as a 22 year old, I do enjoy at times, but at 5 a.m. in the morning when I start this thing up, um, I'm not a morning person, and that 347 stroker 
um, is just not appealing as far as the noise goes. So, uh, I'm gonna put a cutout on this thing. I, hopefully I could do a video on that at some point. Uh, if that's something that you guys wanna see, uh, go ahead and leave it down in the, in the comments below. Uh, I'm also working on getting a set of tires for this thing, um, which a lot of you guys pointed out that you're like, oh my gosh, you got new tires, sweet. Um, these are actually off of the Nightmare, uh, which is my dad's Bronco. Uh, cause he wasn't wheeling his and my tires were so stinking bald, which I don't know if I ever highlighted how bald they are, but I mean, there is literally <laughs> no tread on these things. So these were on the pit bull all the way up until probably three months ago. I put these 37 inch Toyos on, uh, with the beadlock Zephyrs, uh, just to get around because we had a lot of events to, uh, to finish out the year. So. Uh, obviously I have to give these back, but uh, I am working on getting some tires. I do have four wheels, which I won't reveal what they are. Don't show them the name. They're not beadlock. I'm hoping I can get them beadlock, but we'll talk about that later. So those are a couple of updates that I'll be doing to the pit bull. And the main reason we've got to get this thing figured out is because um, in March, so pretty much a month and a half of, away, uh, we're doing... Um, United by Bronco, I can't, my brain just farted. I totally forgot what the event was, but March 3rd through the 5th, uh, United by Bronco. It's gonna be a blast. If you guys uh, haven't gone to a Bronco event, you guys wanna go to a Bronco event, you've been to a million Bronco events and you just can't get enough, definitely look up United by Bronco. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a rock crawling centered event. Uh, which is kind of our taste, it's our speed, we like doing that. So we'll be out there, we'll have a new Bronco, obviously the pit bull uh, will be out there. So uh, anyways, that's the, the explanation for why I gotta get this thing put back together. It does run right now, I could drive it around, but uh, I've gone soft and the, the seat heaters in this thing are really nice. <laughs> I, guess, I guess one thing that we could talk about is King of the Hammers, which a couple of you guys have asked if we're going out to that. We do plan on it, um, just because that's a lot of fun. Ford is really putting a lot of heat behind these new Broncos, which is just fun to see, you know? We'll take these out there, you know, have a blast. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the Pitbull or this thing out. I may be obligated to take this thing out, so. But yeah, that's uh, the beginning of February. Uh, we'll be doing that, so. Uh, and we're trying to work a snow run in, which I don't know if we're gonna get that in or not, but that would definitely be fun. I would like to say, you know, as we get 2020, uh, two rolling, um, that we appreciate you guys continuing to support us. Uh, we're not slowing down, uh, and that's because you guys keep making this part of your lifestyle, and we do appreciate that. So a little bit of sentiment there, but it does come from a, from a good place. So, uh, with that said, quick recap. Yes, this thing was covered by warranty. I can't wait to put 37 inch Toyos on this Bronco to see if they'll actually work. My guess is I don't think they will. Leave a comment down below if you think they'll fit. Pitbull is getting some work done and uh, we're just having a good time, man. With that said, if you guys aren't subscribed already, why not become one of the horsemen? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment of what you guys wanna see us do with these new Broncos, with the classic stuff in the future. We always love hearing from you guys. Um, we love hearing from the horsemen, so. With that said, uh, we hope to see you guys out there on the trail. Peace!